Thank you, Andrew, and it's uh, my absolute pleasure to be invited to say a few, words, a few words in support of Karen Rolton's nomination for Honorary Life membership of the SACA. I was very, very fortunate as a coach to meet Karen back in the early 1990s, a time when Karen was uh, embarking on what has developed into an outstanding cricket career. Although she was still a teenager at this time, my first impression of Karen was that of a cricketer destined for success. Her commitment and her love for the game was second to none. Her desire to be the very best was evident from the very first day that I met her and she displayed an outstanding level of cricket ability. Reflecting back, it is clear to me that Karen was one of those players that comes along once in a lifetime. Karen is a left-handed batter, and I'm sure she'll correct me and say left-handed all-rounder, started her club cricket career a few early years earlier than this. She was playing for the Olympic Women's Cricket Club, which later merged with the Adelaide Cricket Club. In the mid-1990s, Karen joined Port Adelaide Cricket Club and continued to play with them up until her retirement as a player in all forms of the game in 2010-2011. In fact, such was Karen's dominance at a club cricket level that she averaged 112.79 over the last four years of her career with Port Adelaide, with a highest score of 236. She also won the medal, which is now named after her, for the most outstanding grade cricketer in 2009-2010. During this time, Karen was also a pioneer for women's cricket, representing Port Adelaide regularly in the men's B-grade competition, and Karen was also acknowledged by the Port Adelaide Cricket Club when she was inducted into their Team of the Ages in 2013. Karen represented South Australia with distinction and is certainly one of our most decorated players. Karen played 114 matches for the Scorpions, scoring a record total of 5,521 career runs with a highest score of 173 and finishing with a career average of 56.91. Karen was the leading women's national cricket league competition run scorer on four occasions in 2000, 2001, 2001, 02, 05, 06 and 09, 10. Karen also claimed an impressive 106 wickets at an average of 18.66, which probably strengthens her argument of being an all-rounder. Karen was acknowledged a number of times for her outstanding achievements at a domestic level, including being selected as the Women's National Cricket League Player of the Series on three occasions in 2000, 2001, 2001 02, and 02 Karen was also acknowledged as South Australian Sports Institute Female Athlete of the Year in 2005, and in 2007 08, 09 10, and 10 11 she won the Andrea McCauley Trophy for the most outstanding female player in South Australia. Karen is also our longest serving captain of the Scorpions. However, it was at the international level that Karen shined. Karen played 14 tests for Australia, averaging 55.66 at test level, and top scored with an unbeaten 209 at Headingley against England in 2001. A champion of all three formats of the game, Karen also represented Australia in 141 one-day internationals, amassing 4,814 career runs and remains as the only player to have surpassed 150 runs in an innings on two separate occasions in one-day internationals. In addition to her test and one-day international experience, Karen featured in 15 2020 internationals and debuted with an impressive 96 not out, coming from just 53 deliveries. Karen's achievements on the international stage were many. Karen led Australia from 2006 through to 2009 in two tests, 41 one-day internationals and nine T20 internationals, and is the second longest serving captain of our country. Karen was a member of the 1997 and the 2005 World Cup winning teams, and in fact, in 2005, Karen was named the player of the match in the all-important final against India, scoring 107 not out. Karen was announced as Australian Women's International Cricketer of the Year on four separate occasions, receiving the Belinda Clark Award 
in 2002, 2003, 2005 and 2006. And Karen was also announced as player of the series in a number of times, including 2001 as the Australia player in the British Isles, in 2002 and 2003 04 in the Rose Bowl tournament against New Zealand. In 2005, she was the ICC World Cup player of the tournament and also named player of the series in 2005 06 in the tri series between Australia, India, and New Zealand. In 2006, Karen was announced as the ICC female player of the year. Karen is undoubtedly one of South Australia's and Australia's most dedicated and decorated cricketers. Karen is recognised in Sacker's Avenue of Honour. She was inducted into the South Australian Sport Hall of Fame in 2015 and is to be inducted into the ICC Cricket Hall of Fame this year. And to top it all off, she has a room named after her at the Australian Cricket Centre of Excellence in Brisbane. In preparing my endorsement for Karen uh, this evening, I reflected on the many wonderful servants of our game in South Australia, and particularly those that are embedded in Sacker's history as honorary life members. I have no doubt that Karen's contribution to our game is at the level that Sacker members would expect for inclusion in this illustrious group. And having known Karen for the best part of 25 years, I can assure you that Karen epitomises everything that is good in cricket. In closing, I ask that you reflect on what has been a once in a lifetime contribution to our game and ask that you consider Karen's nomination favourably. Thank you. Thank you, Shane. I ask the members present to support the board's recommendation that honorary life membership be conferred on Karen. Can I have someone move that motion, please? Sally? Seconder, Dean, those present, please, via a show of voting cards, demonstrate your approval. Karen, I think it's reasonably convincing after that. Uh, I would like to invite Karen to the stage and please join me in congratulating her on this worthy recognition. Karen. <laughs> Thanks for that, Shane. <laughs> um, did a lot of research there. But no, thank you for all your help and support. Um, 25 years, God, they've gone so quickly. But um, yeah, you've always been a big fan of mine and, uh, and a big supporter, so uh, thank you with everything. Um, also, I'd like to thank um, all the board, um, all of SACA, all of the members here for recognising me in this way. Um, it's a fantastic honour and something I really wasn't expecting at all, so thank you. Um, always loved playing for, for the state. I think it was something I looked forward to, to every year, you know, pulling on the red and, and going out, whether I was captain or, or just playing. You know, I loved um, representing South Australia um, and being able, when I could, being able to play on the, fa the best oval, I think, in the world, um, just out the door there. So thank you for the opportunity. Saka were also, you know, fantastic support for me over my career um, and helped me get to where I got to, and that was being able to represent Australia. So so thanks everyone, um, you know, it's just, as I said, a great on honour and something um, I never expected. And also just want to thank my parents as well, they're here tonight and, you know, they used to take me to trainings and, and all that. So thanks to mum and dad as well. So thank you. Thank you. 